welcome back to another random Sam Epic Mom. It's car rant time. And I'm not so sure this is a rant so much as just me talking. Um, I took my daughter to a basketball game today. And she did awesome. Her team won. Yay. They did a lot better than they did last year. Um, and it got me thinking about a conversation I had with my husband the other day. Uh, with an 18-year-old and such... And him working now and, you know, trying to move forward with his life. And as parents, we want our, the best for our kids. We really do. But it got me thinking. When I was a teenager, uh, there was like three different types of guidance counselors. There was the one who was, oh, you can do anything. Let's talk about your feelings. And then the one who was like, are you sure this is the right path? So it was like the two really good, sweet ones who wanted to encourage you and make you believe that you could accomplish anything. And then you had the one who was like, get real, you can't get into that college. Or, yeah, sure you could do that if you were smarter. <laughs> and I'm trying to be kind of a mix between them to encourage my son. But it's killing me because the more I think about it, you know, my daughters are very different than my sons. My daughters are into sports, they're into uh, student council, there's a five year gap between my girls, and they are both, you know, they love to do volunteer work, they love to do, like, knowledgeable stuff, they just, they're very, you know, into that, but one girl is, like, super quiet, you know, she's just kind of there, she's not as outgoing as she could be, a band kid, all that. And the other one is like super outgoing and she's just like the center of attention. But they have the same interests, so it's kind of weird. And then I've got my boys. And it got me thinking because, again, my daughters are in just so many different things. But my sons kind of go my optic. And I don't know if that's like a boy trait or if it's, I don't freaking know. Or it's just my kids. But, um... And it got me thinking, it's like, you know, when I was a kid, my mom had me do um, a little bit of gymnastics. I did a little bit of karate. I did not enough to be actually good at any of these things, but, you know, I got to do softball and I did uh, bowling and we did things like that. My mom really encouraged that. And it got me thinking that uh, when, I, when I was in high school, the big thing was, you know, schools were trying to keep the art departments, keep the music departments and such. And now, you know, we don't seem to have enough stuff that's kind of really teaching the kids a future, you know, reality. Like, personally, I would love it if the school started teaching how to garden. I don't care if you live in the city. They can teach how to do uh, box gardens, you know, just little boxes that to grow herbs or whatever. But teach them how things grow so that they can appreciate that. Um, I think we should have more things like, I'm really lucky because where we live, we've got a wood shop, we've got metal shop, we've got all sorts of different things that, you know, really get the kids out there and makes them interested. I mean, heck, even the elementary school teaches them really neat stuff. But not everybody's that lucky. And I really wish one of the things that they would do is take these kids, whether they are, um, homeschooled, out of school, um, GED, whatever. I wish there was a program that they could, um, when they're 17, you know, enlist, uh, sign up for this program and every week they take them to a different area and they show what all that person does in their job. Um, everything a plumber has to deal with, everything a nurse deals with, everything an electrician deals with, everybody that a computer programmer deals with because, you know, Again, when I was in high school, we did uh, basic computer programming, just like coding and such, to let us have an idea of what's all involved with it. So anybody who was really interested in it could, you know, think about what college they'd want to go to. Now, I mean, I'm really wanting to push more trade schools for everybody. I think that'd be a better option than the college route because it seems like the colleges aren't getting all that's needed pushed on to the kids, it seems like they're more, you know, training grounds for uh, activists. And you know what? 
that's my crazy opinion. Nobody has to agree with me. But I would like to see some programs out there that would teach kids, you know, some of this basic. Teach them if they'd want to go into carpentry. Teach them if they would want to, you know, really get a job in uh, coding or whatever. Have electricians do it. But besides the whole showing them what's involved with the job, explain what goes in to be qualified for these jobs. And again, this is not just trade school stuff I want kids to be learning, but like, what goes into being a lawyer? What type of work does he have to do? What type of lawyers are there? Because you guys, there's not a lawyer can practice, well, okay, a lawyer could technically practice any type of um, law they wanted to, but the truth of the matter is that um, a lot of them specialize. Somebody might be in family law, somebody might be a prosecutor, some might be a public defender, you know. There's a lot of different areas of law. I mean, heck, there are tax lawyers, okay? It's, there's a lot of different people to cover this stuff. There are different levels of government workers, like there's the clerks in the basic city hall offices to the mayor to, you know, state representatives. There are doctors who specialize in stuff. The teachers. Some teachers who teach at an elementary level will get a certain type of, uh, take certain courses to help them deal with kids of that age group. There's going to be other uh, teachers who are like college professors who might have a different, um, more advanced degrees, you know, a master's degree or a doctorate and such. And again, you know, college professors have to also be, you know, they're in a specific subject, so they've got to focus on that. Um, I wanted to be a teacher. I It didn't happen. Uh, I wanted to teach high school history because I really wanted to be there for high school students because I think they're, it's so important that our high school teachers uh, be given the chance to really help these kids because this is the chance before they're stuck in the real world and there's going to be no forgiveness for their actions or whatever. And this is our greatest time to help influence them and help put them on the right path to help them find the path that works for them and I just feel that if we got out there and we set up programs that kids could shadow somebody for a day or two really sit down and talk about what's involved in it what type of uh, paychecks they could be getting and such depending on which area of the country they live in you know, what are the opportunities? And I mean, we do things like job fairs and such, but it doesn't quite get it all in there. Like, if you don't come from a family with a lot of means and you're not qualified for any type of scholarship, becoming a brain surgeon is gonna be super expensive. So much training. And no offense guys, but I want my brain surgeon to have a lot of training. I want them to know what they're talking about. But just as we want somebody to know how, what they're doing, we forget that there are people who do, uh, who cut our hair. Girls do our nails and such. And they go and get training. And it's not like you can just walk into any job that you want unless it's like uh, fast food or whatever. Um, or basic entry level. But a lot of these things that we don't think much about, like the hairstylist, like the... Uh, IT guys and all that, they go through training. And a lot of people, you won't believe this or not, unless you're, you know, have family in the field, but like my father, he uh, is, he did telecommunications. That means he hooked up phone systems and everything. And because technology is always developing, he regularly went back and got more training to be certified. He was always staying on top of that. He still does to this day. And we don't always explain that to other kids that are getting ready to make these career choices and such or decide what they want to study in college or whether they just want to enter the job market that if you go into a specific field, you're going to always want to be staying on top of how things develop. I mean, plumbers used to be that they'd only do copper piping and then it was only PVC and it, you know, it changes from time to time with what we know as people. So I think if we actually took some kids aside and we showed them these things, because 
right now our society is so big on um, what your sexual orientation is. Uh, are you transgender or not? Are you, you know, politically, you know, which side are you going to be affiliated with? And it's, I don't think it's a good idea. I think instead we should be encouraging kids to learn things that a real life actually need. Like the gardening. Like the, or even just being able to keep a plant alive in your apartment so it doesn't smell stale. Um, I think that if we taught these things to students and we focused on that, we'd have much more uh, rounded, developed kids. Like, we have gym program set up because we want our kids to be healthy. We have music set up like band and everything or choir because we want to give them that out um, outlook and such. And some of the stuff that our kids might be interested in, it might be better for them to you know if they're really passionate about it, they might not be good enough to make a living at it but that doesn't mean they can't be um Sorry guys, I'm having a lot of trouble talking clearly tonight. Um, it doesn't mean that they have to give something up. Like my son loves D&D and he has a Friday night D&D session that he does with his friends. And most of these friends are all over the country. So these are people he met online, but he's been friends with for years. We can offer things like this. Uh, through the D&D thing, he has found that he really enjoys um, fantasy writing. Uh, he w wants to try it himself, but more importantly, he loves reading that. Um, my daughter, Cynthia, does community band. Now, she does not think she would ever want to play clarinet on a professional level. She doesn't, she just, no matter how good she is, we live in a small community, there's going to be people better than her. But she likes doing the community band during the summer. She likes volunteering to help out at places. She loves doing the um, knowledge bowl that she did today. And these are things that are great, but that doesn't mean that because she's good at the knowledge bowl that she's going to now go be on Jeopardy or any other trivia show. I don't, I don't know. I don't watch TV that much. But it is, you know, I think we need to open up possibilities. I think we should have, if we can't do it in the schools, I think it would be great if communities could open up on weekends and have people come in and talk to students, talk to people who are thinking about it. Because it's so easy to say, okay, I'm going to go do the training for this, or I'm going to go do the training for that, or I'm going to move forward in my life this way. And guys, I'm all for anybody moving forward in their life. If we stand still, you know, things are going to get stale. But a lot of times people will uh, take these trainings and then end up not using them and they've wasted a ton of money. It's I've known people who have gone to college for, you know, four to eight years and never gotten a degree. It's disheartening. It's a waste of money. But the best example I can give is that my sister has been certified as a CNA multiple times in her life. She has been trained in, not fully trained, uh, in uh, cosmetology, you know, hairdresser stuff. Uh, but she didn't actually go forward with that. Then there was the, uh, she was trained in how, and certified to do car stereos. But she didn't go out and buy the tools, so she couldn't do the job. She took, she paid and did a bartending course. I don't know if she finished that one or not. But she tried. But she ended up not actually doing it. I think it'd be really cool if things like that, you could do like a day of trying it. Not like getting paid to do it, but you know, give it a test run to see if this is something that you could see doing regularly. Because guys, there's a lot of really cool people out there who are our bartenders, are our waitresses and such. And they are some of the sweetest, kindest people in the world. And no offense, but I tried doing waitressing and I sucked at it. So anybody who's got the stamina to do waitressing, I have all respect for you, man. But again, it's, you know, we need to give kids these opportunities to make a decision. But at the same time, I don't want to shove my son into something that he's going to be miserable in. I want him to find what's going to make him happy. 
And I've explained to him that if he doesn't find it right now, right this second, it's not going to be a big thing. If he works uh, pushing carts at Walmart for the next year or two, as long as he's still moving forward, as long as he's, you know, saving for a goal, trying to move forward, getting an idea of what's going to make him happy. And again, guys, you might not work a job that's going to make you happy all the time, but that's what you have hobbies for. And I just really think that as people, because there are also adult classes out there, guys, where you can learn new things, just go to a class and learn something. Never stop learning, please. I swear I have been so lucky that all my life I have known I don't know everything, and it's made me open to learning more things. And I hope you guys are doing that. I hope if you are in a really crappy job right now, that you are looking towards the future of something that you could do that not only would pay better or give you better hours or something that you wouldn't feel miserable doing. I hope we're all working towards that because as individuals, some of the coolest people I've ever met have been a wide variety of people who have barely had a high school education to doctorates in like archaeology and anthropology and such like my aunt and I've met so many interesting people in my life guys that the college degree is great if it's being used towards a degree but it's not necessary to have a successful life and I think when we're learning how to do things like learning a new hobby or doing something like that we open ourselves up to meeting also new people to experiencing new things and I just Again, I want to put it out there, guys. I really wish there was a program out there that kids could, you know... And I'm sure there are programs, guys. I'm sure there are. I just don't know what they are locally here. And I think it'd be really cool if we found ways to really open up this. So even if uh, our young people don't find what they want to do career-wise, that they find something that they do enjoy, something that they can go to work but come home and have something that they look forward to. And I'm going to stop rambling because you probably don't if you've made it this far it's like hey good on you <laughs> this chick's crazy and please let me know you know some of the things that you have done in your lives that even if you took had to change careers you know in your 30s tell me what were some of the cool things that did it what's gotten you to this point where you actually enjoy your life what are you doing to make your life more enjoyable and I will talk to you guys again soon. Remember, we are individuals. Go out there, have fun, read a book, do something new. <sighs> Go laugh at something. Probably me. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out our other videos already on YouTube. And give us a like and subscribe. And if you hit that bell for notifications, You'll know when we put something new out. So try to make everyday matter by finding the fun. You guys have a great one. Bye.